on today's episode. Welcome. Here I show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So here's a little kiddie's uh, motorbike, electric bike, and a uh, client was given it. Unfortunately, they weren't given the charger with it, so uh, it's uh, it's not not a not a runner at this time. Um, so I'm going to take a look at it. Um, the first thing, obviously, to check would be uh, the battery itself. So let's get in there and take a look at that. So to get access to the battery, we just undo the screw at the back there, and then we can remove that panel, and we can see the. But six volt battery it actually tells us on the label here that it's six volts so first thing to do is to get our trusty multimeter and uh, check what voltage we're going to be getting there We can see that there's uh, virtually no voltage at all. Uh, obviously, it shouldn't be under load at this point, but if we remove the battery connector, then uh, still we get nothing. So this, this battery is, has had it. I also notice that this battery clip is, uh, is corroded and, and broken as well, so we need to, ch to change that. So I'm going to find another battery and we'll go from there. So as you can see, I've been, been busy. We've got a new battery in here now. And I've also made up a, a lead that I can charge with. I can't quite remember what those are. It's a Dean's connector or something. Anyway, we'll get onto that in a moment. So we can check that the new battery is, is good. Yeah, 6.4 volts. So uh, we will give that a charge. And just before we do that, we'll have a quick test. So, let's see how this works. Yep, we're burning up in no time. So the other thing we're going to need for our motorbike project is a, is a charger. Now, I've used these modules before and I'll put a link into the description. Uh, these make a very good um, battery charger for the, uh, the sealed lead acid types. Uh, we can set uh, constant current and we can set um, the voltage obviously. It also gives us a charge indication. Now, um, not being able to leave anything alone, uh, I'm going to do a couple of modifications to this. One is to put a little little heat sink on the, on the chip there. Uh, here it's going to be very warm and this is going to be outside so um, anything we can do to keep things a little bit cooler the better. I've got a little project box ready for it and uh, also the LED is obviously going to be inside the box so what I'm going to do is to um, change the LED for the end of charge for this red LED and we're going to mount that um, on, the, on the box with the, the little collet uh, that comes with it. Uh, the last piece of this particular puzzle is we're going to need to obviously power this and once again the old standby I've been into my uh, pack rat supplies and I've got this old uh, lithium charger which outputs 20 volts at four and a half amps now we're going to not going to be using anywhere near four and a half amps um, we'll set the uh, the current limit on here and I'll show you the voltage and the current settings uh, in a moment so here we can see uh, just testing the output voltage now i've set the determiner voltage to um, 7.24 and that's with the the left hand uh, little uh, preset there and we can see that the led is on uh, showing that it's outputting the constant voltage so now we're looking at the at the current setting and we can see by the blue led there that it's in charging mode 
and the red LED tells us that it's in uh, constant current. So the maximum current that I'm going to be uh, drawing is 2.4 amps. So uh, hopefully that will charge the uh, charge the bike up quite quickly. Uh, it's nothing worse than kiddies waiting around for things to, to charge. So those are the settings for the battery charger. Should also just mention uh, in, in passing the, the middle uh, adjustment here um, sets the end of charge um, end of charge voltage. So uh, when we get to the end of end of charge state, the currently blue LED um, is 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 a, it will will go out to show that um, we've got to the end of charge state. So here I've got the unit just before the sort of final uh, assembly. So uh, the little charging circuit I've stuck to the top of the of the power supply with some double-sided tape. Uh, put a couple of grommets in there, and for strain relief, just put a, a tie wrap around. It's not going to get too much abuse when one hopes. And just to finish it off, the actually went in the end for a, a smaller LED, but it's a flashing LED. So um, hopefully. Um, the, the end of charge now will be indicated by that flashing LED going out. So now I'll just get this screwed together and we can go and uh, charge the battery. So here we've got the meter hooked up to measure the battery voltage and at the moment uh, we're not, not charging. You can see the, there's no flashing on the, on the LED and this is the, the, the charging connector. So if we now connect up our charger to the battery. We can see that the voltage is now climbing. And if you recall, I had it set um, yeah, the voltage to terminate at well 7.24. And we can see that the charging indicator is, is flashing there. So we'll just come back when that flashing stops and see what uh, the resultant voltage is. So now the flashing charge light has gone out and we're at 7.1516 volts. So uh, that's, a, that's a result. We're up to the, the voltage that we want. Um, so it's ready to be uh, sent back to the client.